Welcome to Time Beat Breaking News Channel. Here are our breaking news today. 1. UN experts say South Sudan divisions widen. 2. Brazil refuses to import Russia's Sputnik V vaccine. The United Nations. UN experts say South Sudan divisions widen. UN experts are warning that the political, military, and ethnic divisions in South Sudan are on the rise, leading to more violence among the official signatories over last year's ceasefire, the possibility of remarried and nearly 100,000 people faced conditions like famine. Experts emphasize the slow pace of reform of President Salva Kiir's government, disagreement over how to implement the ceasefire in February 2020 and a 2018 peace deal have resulted in a chain relationship conflict between Kiir and first Vice President Riek Machar. The discontent in Kiir's Sudanese People's Liberation Movement and his power base in the Dinka ethnic group over handling his transition has led to new leadership calls. There are many hopes for peace and stability as South Sudan gains long-standing independence from Sudan. But the country fell into ethnic violence in December 2013 when forces loyal to Kiir began fighting people loyal to Machar, his former vice president, who belonged to the ethnic Nuer. Despite many efforts to control international violence and pressure, the crisis continues to escalate. The experts warned that as a result of missed deadlines and political gridlock on key issues in the National Unity Government's agreement the stability of South Sudan has remained at risk. In a second statement on February 19, the Jean Council said that corruption in South Sudan is the driver of political competition and warned that the country was returning to war because the agreement had focused on power sharing and ignored peacebuilding at the local level. The International Famine Warning System reported that just under half of South Sudan's population faces high levels of acute food insecurity and more than 92,000 people living in several areas including the Greater Piber Administrative Area, Northern Bar Al-Ghazal and Warap were facing famine-like conditions as of early March 2021. COVID-19 Brazil refuses to import Russia's Sputnik V vaccine. Brazil's health authority, Anvisa, said late on Monday that it would not recommend importing Sputnik V, the COVID-19 vaccine developed by Russia. Brazil's need for vaccines is urgent. It has been battered by one of the world's worst outbreaks, driven by the highly contagious P1 virus variant. But Anvisa said that important safety tests had not been performed on Sputnik V, and that questions remained about the vaccine's development, safety and manufacturing. Russia is using Sputnik V in its mass vaccination campaign, and the vaccine has been approved for emergency use in dozens of other countries. Its rollout has been entangled in politics and propaganda, with President Vladimir Putin announced its approval for use even before late-stage trials began. For months, it was pilloried by Western scientists. The Gamalia Research Institute, part of Russia's Ministry of Health, developed the vaccine, also known as GAM-COVID-VAC. A peer-reviewed study published in The Lancet in February said the vaccine had an efficacy rate of 91.6%. As vaccine supply woes in Europe worsened, the European Union's drug regulator announced last month that it was reviewing the Sputnik V vaccine after member nations began announcing they would acquire the shot on their own. Thank you for watching. We help you stay up to date all the news hourly. Please subscribe our channel to follow up the latest one.